Several anti-violence groups and Jefferson County leaders marking the beginning of Crime Victims Rights Week. It recognizes the many people who have been impacted by violent crime in our community. Our Taylor Pollock attending that event tonight. She's live with why it's important, Taylor. Yeah, that's right. Organizers tell me that they hope this week they can offer support to the many people across our area who have been affected by violence, as well as spark discussions on how to prevent it in the future. When people see me in this capacity, nobody knows that I lost a child of gun violence. It's been six years since Jessica Brown's son was shot and killed at a gas station. She knows firsthand the widespread impact of one act of violence. It not only affects the family that lost a child, it affects uh, the community, the neighborhood, the schools, the teachers, everybody that was impacted by this child's life. Brown now works with Voices of Black Mothers United. Together, they offer support to a group who she says are often forgotten over time. Some mothers, you know, uh, give up hope, um, commit suicide, turn to drugs, different things. So we're just here to support them and encourage them to let them know that you can go on even though you suffer a tragic loss. Even after justice is served, Birmingham Police Officer Truman Fitzgerald says Crime Victims Rights Week serves as an important reminder that providing support to these families needs to continue. As officers, we move to the next case, we move to the next investigation. The families don't. And it's important for us as a police department to remind victims' families that we still remember them and we're going to do everything we can to still support them. It was important for me to attend this event and participate in this event because of the lack of attention that the youth gets when it comes down. I think that we are very misunderstood. Sunday's event not only serves as a place to seek support, but an opportunity to discuss ways to end violence with a discussion panel involving community youth. The youth are a big part of everything that's going on today, it's, mo it's affecting 95% uh, of our youth with gun violence. So they are a vital part of why we're here today. And Crime Victims Rights Week runs through April 27th. I'm in Birmingham, Taylor Pollock, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your